Good morning and welcome to this time of reflection together. A time when we can draw together in thought, word and deed across social media when we cannot gather in our church. If you have a candle to hand, you might like to light it now as we mark this time of worship together. A candle is lit, a little bit more light shines in our world, a reminder of the light we seek, a light to shine and lead us on the way that we might find in that journey the comfort of hope to still our anxiety and give us rest in our weariness. Amen. Today is about the journey. This is Palm Sunday, the day when we remember Jesus' journey into Jerusalem, the journey that will take us into Easter next Sunday. On this day, we would have been waving our palm crosses and singing loud our hosannas in song. But instead, we are here and on a journey of a different kind. The pavements and the roads we travel today are different. There are less people travelling them. Only the brave souls are out gathering essentials and um, exercising. There is more space between us than we're used to and it's hard. These spaces open up like chasms between us filled only with, our, with the echoes of our struggle with anxiety, loneliness and fear. Before we might have gone out and sought the company of our friends and family to be with us when we felt like this, now we find the journey towards one another, deeply marked by that distance. The space between us is not empty though. In another light, we might see that there is indeed a sacred space being offered to us, a space in which we can honour one another and that at what at first seems like a chasm can become for us holy ground where we might know that God is there with us. Today, as we gather on Palm Sunday, we remember Jesus' journey as recorded in Matthew's Gospel. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Amen. Only a suffering God can help us in this. Only a God who can understand can walk long and deep into the chasm of fear of loneliness and isolation and create there a holy and sacred place for us to save us from such despair. Might it be that there among all the fear and doubt and anxiety we can hear our own voices shouting loud Hosanna which means 
Lord, save us. This Palm Sunday, we shout our hosannas. Let us shout them from the highest rooftops and from the deepest valleys and know that God is with us. As we pray, we remember the family of Mary Patterson today, in particular her husband John after her death. Mary was a long-time member of Yoker Parish Church and had latterly been living in a local nursing home. So, as we remember her, I invite you now to pray. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you travelled all roads, the easy ones and the difficult too. You set your gaze on the path of love and never once deviated from it, no matter how difficult the journey became. Hosanna, Lord Jesus, in this time of trial, save us. You travelled through towns and villages, and at your command the sick were made well. Come to our aid now, on the streets we travel today, that we may experience your healing love that banishes all fear and bring healing to those who are ill. Hosanna, Lord Jesus, in this time of trial, save us. You travelled into every open heart that was seeking a word in season. Comfort with peace those who are sick with worry, anxious, bewildered and alone. Be their companion in the difficult days and lead them to a place of rest and renewal. Hosanna, Lord Jesus, in this time of trial, save us. You travelled even into the valley of death that we might have Easter trusting in your promise to be with those who have died, we now pray for their family and friends. We remember especially John Patterson and his family grieving the death of Mary as wife and mother. We remember all who grieve at this time, particularly if they cannot be at the funeral. Meet them in your faithfulness, Lord. Hosanna, Lord Jesus, in this time of trial, save us. You travelled a healing road. Be with the doctors, nurses, researchers and all medical professionals who travel a similar path, seeking to heal and help those who are ill and put themselves at risk in the process. Be with our leaders also on that journey of healing our nation. Give them foresight to act with charity and true concern for the well-being of the people they serve. May they know your protection and peace. Lord Jesus, be with us in our journey as we take one more step. Hosanna, Lord Jesus, in this time of trial, save us. Hear us as together we pray the Lord's Prayer in words familiar to us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial 
and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for being with me in this time of reflection. And I look forward to next Sunday, which will be Easter Sunday and April the 12th, when I'll post again on this Facebook page. And if you are continuing um, with the day of prayer this evening at 7pm, you'll find a suggested prayer still on the church Facebook page. And you're invited to once again light the candle and place it on your windowsill as a symbol of solidarity with everyone around. So meanwhile, look after yourself, look after your families and your loved ones and stay safe and much love to you. And once again, know that as you are blessed by God, may you be a blessing to others also in return. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.